Flooding is a natural process. Because of Brisbane's location on a floodplain, its subtropical climate and all of its waterways, it means that many people in Brisbane City have experienced a flood in their lifetime. Hi, I'm Liz Cantor, weather presenter for 7 News, and in my role, I've seen some increasingly wild weather events. Brisbane City Council wants to ensure our community remains safe as our climate changes by adapting and preparing for severe storm and flood events. Flood resilience strategies won't stop the flooding, but they'll ensure you spend less time cleaning up with minimal damage and expense and give you peace of mind that your home is being protected. If you're renovating or thinking about it, here are some effective solutions to chat with your builder or architect about to help improve flood resilience. Flood waters can cause damage to floors, walls and cabinetry. By using flood resilient materials, you will be able to recover more quickly after a flood event. Everything was ruined pretty much in the house. It had to be rebuilt. All the walls were replaced and the insulation was redone. The kitchen, all the cabinetry, the doors, basically everything uh, was replaced with um, flood resilient material. So if it ever floods again, hopefully not, um, it will be fine and I'll just be able to uh, just hose it out and repaint. So basically there's a lot of new products on the market at the moment, such things as uh, flooring materials, wall materials. We look at doing work to cabinetry where, whereby we can actually swap out um, normal carcass material for cabinets etc with materials that non-flood affected, waterproof etc. All right, so here I've just soaked two different wall linings. This is a standard you'd see in most places. And then here we've got an FC sheet, which we do use all the time anyway. It's just about using the products that we'd mainly use in a wet area, but just using them in general application. And you can sort of just see that like it's covered in cardboard. This will just soak up the water, all the cardboard will peel off. Whereas this FC sheet, it's water resilient. Um, and it'll actually stay dry and dry out and it'll hold its form. Replace your carpets and other porous flooring with water resistant flooring such as hardwood, tiles or polished concrete. You should also use tiles or flood resilient hardwood for skirtings. Replace hollow core doors with solid core doors. This will reduce the likelihood of your doors swelling and warping after a flood. The construction of your home is just as important as the materials. Engage a builder or architect who is familiar with flood resilient designs and materials. Replace existing stairs with open stairs made from flood resilient materials or simply remove the carpet. For closed staircases, which can trap water behind them, the first stair riser can be modified to be removable to let the water escape. Use the same materials and waterproofing techniques in your kitchen and your bathroom. Flood resilient materials are cost effective, durable and add style. So if you are renovating or building, talk to your architect or builder about flood resilient designs. Find out more from us online.